Welcome back aliens. I'm Navin Reddy from Thaiska Learnings and today we are going to talk about a frequently asked question and that question is why we create a reference of a list or the interface and the object of a class. I mean think about this. The classic example is the collection, collection list interface and uh, alias class right. In fact we don't use it much uh, when it compared to other, other topics like inheritance or all those things but the moment you come to collection this is this is frequently asked thing. See, think, think about this. List is an interface and Alice is a class, right? And Alice class uh, implements list interface. So whenever you create a list, we always do something like this. We say list names equal to new list, right? And I get this question, why we don't write Alice? Because it's work the same way, right? You can create a list or you can create an list. Why you have to confuse people with this syntax when you can use this one? Even in this one, in this list, you can add values. In this at least you can add values, right? Both are exactly the same. Then why people refer this one? Now, first of all, this looks cool, right? We have a list interface and we are getting a list of that. The other one is simple class, okay? We are getting an object of a class. Okay, that's not the main reason. The reason is, uh, if you know we have an interface, right? Now, this interface list has two implementations. In fact, there, there, there might be many, but then we know the two most famous. The first one is array list and second one is linked list, right? In fact, I do have a video on that on YouTube, the difference between linked list and array list. The thing is, if we talk about this array list class, it implements list. There is one more class which is called a linked list, right? So we can also create a linked list. Okay, so we can also do this. We can say linked list names equal to new linked list, right? Or we can say list names equal to new linked list. Right. So why to use list as an interface? Now for, for a very specific reason. Let's say, uh, let's say you have a, you, you are calling a method. Okay. So let's say you have a names here and you want to filter out these elements. So you might be having names with, with add a list or you might be having a names of type list or link list. So let's say you want to filter the elements. You want to filter those names which starts with N. Let's say you don't like people who, whose name starts with N. Okay, that means like, okay, doesn't matter. So if you want to filter all the names which starts with N, what you will do is you will say you will create a function or a method called as filter. Okay, that is filter. And this filter will take a parameter as names. Right. So you are defining a function called as filter. So first of all, you are calling it here. Of course, somewhere you have to define it. Right. So let's say this is your main function. So from here to here, you have a main function or a main method. And then you are calling a filter method. Again, this is not an inbuilt method. Okay. I'm getting on my own method here. So I will create, I will define that method. I will say filter, which takes. Okay. So let me, I'm defining that method. Okay. Now question arise. Okay. Whatever logic we have here, that doesn't matter. Okay. We can have a logic where you can uh, print the values, right? Or, or you can filter the values. The important thing is if you are passing names, what you will accept here. See now, if you pass a uh, array list, let's say, let's focus on this one. So this is, this is the object you are creating. Okay. Let's skip this first, uh, first and last. If you are creating a uh, array list names, you have to pass the names, right? So you will accept a uh, array list here. So you will say array list and you will say names because that's how you define the variable right so if you are passing a array list you have to accept array list right now if you are passing a linked list let's say i don't want to pass array list now i want to pass linked list i have to replace this code with linked list or i have to create another method which is method overloading right so you'll be having two methods in the same class filter and filter one will accept array list one will accept linked list okay so now we have two methods doing the same thing right why to create two methods doing the same thing when you can do when you can do that in one method so instead of creating instead of passing any list here you can pass a list because list will accept add a list and list will accept link list both right so what we always do is whenever you refer so whenever you refer a variable because this is a variable right we call them as object but those are reference variables so whenever you refer to other i mean whenever you create a reference variable it should be of type of interface. So instead of creating array list or link list, we should be always writing list. Again, writing array list and link list will not give you any error. But then if you follow the standards, standard says we should always create a reference of the interface and object of a class. So that when you pass the value, you can have you have to only create one method which can take all the classes. So you can pass the object of array list, you can pass the object of link list because everyone takes the object or, or the list type. Right, that's one of the use you have. Okay, so that's why we have this concept of abstraction, right? And so instead of focusing on, hey, so the, when you define this filter, you will say, this filter takes the list of values. 
right? So when you define this filter, we say it takes list of names. Instead of saying it takes list of list, it takes list of link list, you can say it takes list of uh, list of uh, names, right? So we should always create a reference of the interface and object of a class. Now this same concept is applicable in lots of things. In fact, when you start with uh, advanced things like Spring Framework or Hibernate Framework, we do the same thing, right? We have lots of interfaces. We create a reference of interface and object of a class. So this is the main reason why we follow this concept. Again, there are lots of reasons. One of the main one is this one. So I hope you got your problem solved. I got, I got lots of questions on YouTube. So I wanted to make a video on this instead of commenting on that. So this is the video for those people who have this confusion. Uh, so if you already know this, that's great. Otherwise, this, I mean, I hope this was helpful. So that's it guys. That's it from this video. If you have any more questions, something like this, you have a comment section, comment your question. I may not answer in the comment section, but I will surely make a video on that in future. So that's my plan now. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, if you want to see such other videos again in, in your uh, in this channel, so do subscribe. And thanks so much for watching.